All right. Here we go. Cutscene. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Splits, fractures. Don't remember exactly what we said it's called them. Oh, there's sadness. There you are. Thank God. You're all right. I was so worried. Oh. Yeah. That thing almost got me. Is it? Uh, it came from shame, from helplessness, from rage. We picked up in that part. Rage. Uh, it's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you. I promise. Okay. Mm. Hey. Uh, okay. Hey. That floats in the room. Why don't you tell me something about this place? Mm. Just it, assumed it would drop. I don't know why. It's the day room. We used to play here. Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. No, don't answer that. I remember he, he became hollow. Like a puppet. He... I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Marianne. Is that no never again? Why did you bring me here? Sadness has got some shit going on. It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see. With my own eyes. Time to investigate the day room. Obviously, we'll just go ahead and slice this open. Doesn't get any more pleasant. No, there's more of those things. Richard? Are you there? I don't have any of the, uh... Spirit power thing left. Here we go. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lillian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lillian, I... I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? Huh? Was that Sadness's voice? Yeah. I think we know that was Sadness. And, um... Maybe she's like Mar Marianne. Maybe she can see ghosts or spirits or whatever and that's why everyone thinks she's talking to herself. Uh what's going on here? Obviously I can't go that way until I find one of the uh energy. We could go through there. No, I couldn't because there's a barrier in the way. Uh, locked. Bolt cutters won't help me here.
Thomas, I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination. Mesmerised with the surreal dreamscapes his mind would weave, the way he described them with every minute detail, it was as if he had actually witnessed all of it, as if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him a peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me as his visions come alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to fuel my waning creativity, but how could I not? To let his unique perspective, this bottomless wall of inspiration, go to waste? That would be an unforgivable sin. So Thomas, who is Marianne's father, and Marianne herself, it seems, have the same ability as Marianne, by the sounds of it. It's over here. In the real world, it's a part of a well, bit of paper. Part of it. Part three. Oh, I forgot I could do that. Which actually will let me go through this door up here, now that I've remembered that. Let's do that. There we go for an out-of-body experience. What's this? The equator. Is that a belt? Is that a collar? something here in the real world that Spirit Marianne can't quite reach. Which will allow me to start this memory. It seems to be also we need to be able to get real Marianne into that room. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? Oh, yeah, the... Oh. The disabled gentleman who... Isn't that the first person that the nurse freaked out on and then... Kind of started this whole... Debacle. I remember the first time I met him. Working a simple factory job, still more of a boy than a man. Wide-eyed. Constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I can, could immediately tell that despite his young age he had seen things that no one age should. I could immediately tell he was special. This time there's a barrier that... Real world Marianne can't get through. That's the picture we saw earlier. Okay, I'm clearly missing something. Oh, I'm missing a couple of things. Second part of the music sheet, so we'll combine it with the first part. Then we only need to find one more. Oh, this place is packed with memories. Bad ones. Guilt. Humiliation. Rage. We should be able to put the equator in. Oh. 
To another rainy balcony. Okay, that's as far as that goes. Yeah. The spark's too weak to absorb. I need to find the last piece of like music. Missing something. Find the last piece of music, and then that will empower that memory to give me the, the spark. Which will allow me to proceed. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. And there's the key we needed the teacher's room's key. Cool. So that lets us go through here. Open sesame. This will be on, blonde Richard. to Richard. Yeah. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So he brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by them. Was that Thomas? Marianne's dad who knew Richard as a close old family friend. Yes, he was just lying there. He, uh... Mr. Reckon? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... Uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he deserved it. Marianne reading people's thoughts just as much as their feelings. Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he has found true happiness, true love, strong and pure. Well, as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Neva, I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted. Even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us, I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I'd ever had. That should be all the pieces of the score now. Which should let me go back to the room with the piano. And fire up the spark. Which was this way. See, I think I might be missing something, but there's... I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. At least, the good parts of it. But the bad parts... They're always there. Aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're... Special. Her voice, is that sadness? 
Well done catching up, Marianne, dear. So now that we've got that, we should be able to create a shield, which will let us through here. Nice. Oh. That's creepy. Monstrous hands out in the distance. Painting, let's find the recollection. Uncle Richard, my arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. Yeah, well done, Marianne. It's grief, sorrow, and something else. Don't have to be a medium. It'd be getting a weird vibe from Richard. I suppose it helps though, doesn't it? I was finished. They had to let me go. Me, Richard Tarkovsky, whose works were recognised across the continent, whose imagination, as they said, knew no bounds. His very name became synonymous with fine art. All of that meant nothing to these soulless bureaucrats. To them, I was just a liability, the source of dangerous liberal ideas. I felt betrayed, empty. I needed to get out, away from the hollow sickness of the city. Most of all, I needed a friend. And so I sought him out. I knew his wife had died some months earlier. At the time, I thought it best not to interfere with his grieving. And so now I feared that he'd hold it against me for not being there when he needed me the most. Instead, he offered me a home. But where do we go? Oh, there's a door there. Oh, I don't like the fact that there's a big slimy something in the way of the door. And Spirit Marianne's version. A great big slimy something something. Oh, what's this? Creepy doll, nice. Find the point of recollection. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here. I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside me. Uh, no, don't like that at all. It's this big creepy Richard's hands out in the distance. Big spirit, Richard. Oh, I came up this way and missed it. Oh, this is only just spawned. No! I didn't mean to... Oh, God! What have I done? It feels... cold. What has he done? Don't like what this means for poor sadness. I think we can understand why. Uh. Shit's just moving itself now. Cool. Why not? Don't I sit. had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. 
Agent wanted to show me something. <gasps> the child eater. What did that say? Our love is timeless? What? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's got to be something around here. You want what? Fuck! Decided to let me out of my cage. Spirit Richard. And Here's a medium. When you need my help. Surprise. Surprise. Hey, you know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Oh, well, it's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, great. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. Screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? The painting? Yeah. His spirit side is much creepier than Marianne's. Tension, grab the fucking thing. Would you shut up? Like he's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known. I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. Bastard! Who could he? I told 
told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back? Oh, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. So this will be how Richard ended up brain dead or whatever the technical term is for it. The spirit Richard. No, did Spirit Thomas kill him? Or melt his mind or whatever? Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me I didn't hurt her, Richard. Wouldn't have dropped it, that's for damn sure. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's this thing inside of me. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter. I, I, I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. Uh, uh, no one shouts here. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear, I'll go away. You'll never wait. But you. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me. Out. Let me. 